The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye into the universe, was launched to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos. Star births, galactic collisions, and the faint light from the first galaxies after the Big Bang. But no one anticipated that it would intercept something so unexplainable that global governments would scramble to silence it. It all began with a subtle anomaly. During a routine observation of a distant exoplanet in the TRAPPIST-1 system, Webb's instruments picked up a faint, repeating fluctuation in the infrared spectrum. At first, astronomers assumed it was interference, an artifact of Webb's sensitive equipment. But upon closer analysis, the signal appeared structured, deliberate, and intelligent. Unlike the random noise of cosmic background radiation, this anomaly contained patterns, repetitions, pauses, sequences that mirrored the cadence of language. It was not a star, not a galaxy, not even a pulsar's rhythmic beat. This was transmission. NASA initially filed the report as Classified Anomaly JW47. Only a handful of scientists knew. They pored over the data for weeks, searching for a natural explanation, but every test yielded the same chilling truth. The James Webb Telescope had received a signal, an intentional transmission from somewhere beyond. Word began to leak. A scientist within ESA, who had access to the shared data, revealed anonymously to journalists that the pattern looked like an encoded message. Soon after, global media exploded with rumors of Webb's first contact. Officials scrambled to deny it, labeling the claim as misinformation. But behind closed doors, space agencies grew frantic. Why frantic? Because this wasn't just a random signal. The transmission repeated at intervals that aligned with Earth's orbital position, as if whoever sent it knew we were here. Even more unsettling, when scientists attempted to decode fragments of the message, they uncovered what looked like blueprints, schematics, maps. The public remained largely in the dark, told that Webb was functioning normally, cataloging galaxies and distant stars. But among the insiders, the tension was undeniable. A cosmic whisper had been heard, and someone, or something, wanted humanity to notice. The world was on the edge of a revelation, and then everything changed. The transmission abruptly stopped. The sudden silence made things worse. Signals in astronomy can be natural, they can fade, but this wasn't random noise. It had been consistent, repeating for 17 days straight. Then, as though switched off, it ended. But by then, enough data had been captured. NASA and independent labs raced to decode the fragments. AI models trained on language patterns were unleashed on the transmission. What emerged stunned even the most skeptical scientists. The signal wasn't just a string of pulses, it was an image. When converted through Webb's infrared mapping, researchers saw the outline of a planet, not Earth, but an exoplanet orbiting a dim red star. Next to it was a symbol, repeated dozens of times. At first it seemed abstract, but then someone noticed the terrifying detail. The symbol matched Earth's own radio frequency signature, the one emitted by decades of our own broadcasts into space. It was as if the message said, We heard you. We know where you are. Other decoded fragments showed what looked like circular diagrams, possibly orbital maps, and even structures resembling technology far beyond our understanding. Some scientists believed it was a blueprint, a design for something, a machine, a portal, a weapon. No one agreed. This is where the secrecy grew more intense. Governments feared releasing the findings. Imagine the panic if billions learned that an unknown intelligence had targeted Earth with a message. World religions, global markets, military operations, chaos could erupt overnight. So, the official story remained silence. But whistleblowers began to leak. First came a leaked audio clip. Electronic pulses translated into sound. 
it had an eerie, almost melodic rhythm. Then came a series of images posted anonymously online, showing grainy reconstructions of the supposed blueprint. Within hours, conspiracy theorists declared it evidence of alien contact. NASA dismissed it as fabrications, but tech experts confirmed the metadata matched Webb's instruments. The world was slowly waking up. Social media boiled with theories. Was it an alien invitation? A warning? A countdown? Michio Kaku, the famed theoretical physicist, appeared on international broadcasts. Carefully, without confirming classified details, he hinted that the James Webb Telescope has captured something that challenges the very foundation of our understanding of the universe. He warned that humanity was like ants hearing the footsteps of giants. What terrified the scientific community most wasn't just the signal's content, but the fact that it stopped. If it was an accident, it wouldn't have been so precise. If it was natural, it wouldn't have contained structured data. Someone, or something, decided to end communication. The silence felt intentional, as if they had said all they wanted to say. For now. And then the strangest event occurred. Three weeks after the silence, Webb's sensors picked up a faint echo of the same transmission, not from deep space, but from within our own solar system. The revelation shook every hidden control room, every classified meeting, every agency monitoring the skies. The signal that began light years away was now echoing locally, as if reflected or retransmitted from somewhere nearby. Webb's instruments detected the source, a point near the orbit of Jupiter. Astronomers rushed to check, no known satellite, no known debris, nothing cataloged in that region. Yet the signal was there, faint but undeniable. This changed everything. If the message had traveled across light years, it should have taken centuries. But if it was now rebroadcast within our solar system, it meant one of two things. Either the intelligence was already here, or something was placed here to ensure we received it. NASA convened an emergency meeting with the UN. Military satellites were repositioned. Secret space surveillance programs scanned the region around Jupiter. Within days, a classified object was confirmed, a dark, metallic structure reflecting almost no light, stationary relative to the planet's orbit. It was something artificial, something not built by us. The leak of this discovery stopped the world. When a European journalist published documents confirming Webb has found evidence of an unknown structure in our solar system, global news networks exploded. Governments scrambled with denials, but the public pressure grew. Within a week, NASA was forced to make a partial admission. Webb had detected unexplained phenomena. Panic spread. Stock markets tumbled. Religious leaders issued calls for calm. Protesters flooded streets demanding the truth. For the first time in human history, the world collectively felt watched. And then a new piece of data emerged. The hidden transmission wasn't just repeating randomly, it was counting. The pulses followed a sequence, decreasing slowly over time. When decoded, the countdown pointed to a date, just three weeks away. Was it the time of arrival, a deadline, a warning? No one knew. Governments debated whether to respond. Should Earth send a reply? Should we remain silent? Scientists argued that ignoring the message was impossible. It had already found us. Militaries prepared contingency plans, though what defense humanity could mount against an intelligence capable of placing technology near Jupiter was laughably uncertain. In living rooms, classrooms, and places of worship across the planet, humanity waited. Every telescope was turned skyward. Every scientist worked without sleep. The countdown ticked closer, day by day. And as the final hours approached, something remarkable happened. The dark structure near Jupiter lit up. A pulse of light, brighter than anything Webb had ever captured, burst outward. The transmission resumed, louder, stronger, undeniable. This time there was no secrecy. Every amateur astronomer on Earth could detect it. The message was no longer hidden. It was for everyone. 
the 